October 7, 1943, the Most Reverend Michael O. Doherty, Archbishop of Manila, signed the decree on the establishment of the parish of Bergen de los Remedios, comprised of 10 barrios with Baliti San Fernando Pampanga as its seat. Assigned as first parish priest was Father Francisco V. Cancho, whose solemn installation took place in the small visitas on December 3, 1943, even while the Second World War was raging. Father Cancho immediately plugged himself to his task. Religious organizations were formed. The small visitas was renovated. The rectory was built. Then in 1948, Father Generoso Pagliasigi succeeded him and the present edifice of the church building was constructed. It was also during his incumbency that a significant event in the parish history occurred. In 1952, when the first bishop of the newly created Diocese of San Fernando Bishop Cesar Maria Guerrero established the crusade of penance and charity. The image of Virgen de los Remedios in Baliti left her namesake parish to accompany the crusade in the towns and the parishes of Pampanga. As the official processional image of the crusade, she covered the entire province under her protective mantle. Inspiring province-wide rebirth of Catholic fervor and generosity. She became instrumental in bringing healing and peace to a people torn apart by peasant uprising, the Hook Rebellion, and ideological socialism. Much like God, taking the initiative and loving us first, the Virgen for the two years that she accompanied the crusade was a pilgrimage image visiting and immersing herself in the lives of the Kapangpangan. There are three other memorable instances that the image of Virgen de los Remedios of Baliti went for visits. First, in 1996, she left her home to be with the first Archdiocesan Pastoral Assembly, or also known APA-1. Some say APA-1 was much more than mere pastoral planning. It was a spiritual experience. Just like when she first accompanied the crusade, the Virgen transformed divisiveness into communion. Second, to seal the closure of the APA-1 encounter, a penitential procession was held. VDL parishioners walked from the Baliti Parish Church to the tomb of Bishop Cesar Maria Guerrero at the Carmelite Monastery Grounds in Angela City as an act of atonement for their refusal to let go of the image decades back. Thirdly, in preparation for 75th anniversary of the parish foundation, the VDLR parishioners with the image of Virgen de los Remedios and Santo Cristo del Perdón went on a pilgrimage, tracing the route of the first round of the crusade of penance and charity, that is, the parishes of Masantol, Macabebe, Apalit, and Santo Domingo Minalin. While even to this day, the crusade continues in earnest around the Archdiocese and devotion to the replica image of the Virgen de los Remedios, intensified to cult proportions, the parish community in Baliti quietly venerates its original image. A crusade between and among the barrios and subdivisions within the parish jurisdiction. Instead, it tries to leave a vital com component of the crusade, that is, the concept of Lamak, 
which translate religiously into practice, into a concrete manifestation of love to God and of neighbor, whereby those who have more in life share what they have with those who have less. And that goes not only for material things, as our current parish priest, Father Alex Dizon, echoes words from PCP2 towards the end of every Eucharistic celebration. No one is too poor that he has nothing to give, and no one is so rich that there is nothing he needs. As we celebrate 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines and 78 years as a parish community, we look back on our parish history and thank God for all the blessings He has bestowed on us. Fifteen pastors who had nurtured our faith, empowered the lady, and guided us all these years. A blit in their unique and individual passions, the parish lay leaders and other parishioners who had unselfishly shared their time, talents, and treasures, the material blessings, our health, our families, and friends, our experiences, both good and bad, for we learned and matured from them all, and most of all, our life and our faith. We thank God because from its humble beginnings, the Virgen de los Remedios Parish stands today as a fitting monument to a people's love for God and the Blessed Mother. We also remember to seek forgiveness for our failures, for the wrong that we had done, and the good that we failed to do. We pray for healing, be it physical, emotional, relational, and or spiritual, especially in this time of pandemic. And we ask the Virgen de los Remedios to intercede for us to her Son, the Santo Cristo del Perdón y Caridad, so that we may steadfastly embark on our mission as our journey together continues.